plant that, explain that. Okay. Now let's explain the player's movements and her new animations. So I cleaned up this code a little bit. Um, as you probably knew or remember from the first video, um, we're supposed to be using the Gerari principle, which is the don't repeat yourself. So I just took all this code and I copied it into my animation. Uh, yeah, the animation player uh, script, which is you know kind of a no-no. <laughs> so all I did was I just cleaned that up. Um, so the first thing that I did to clean this crap up was I created a variable called current holding state, and then this whoops this thing here just gets the um it just gets the state machine and it finds out what the current state is and then dependent on that state yeah and dependent on that state our characters um animations would play differently so here just get node the anim which is this animated sprite um, node here. There is a function in there called check direction. Let's go down here and find it. Check direction. So this here says is moving. So that's what we're, we're checking here. So if our move, if movement, meaning we're moving, we're going to put that as true. So is moving will be true. And then the holding state it's asking if we're holding something that is going to be contingent or contingent. I think it's contingent on whether or not the get current state is um, the usable state or not. So whenever we enter the usable state, this will this will become true, or this will become uh, seven. And if that matches, as we can see here, um, we're going to do some stuff. And that's pretty much how the rest of this is working. So here we have check holding direction, does the same thing. And then this here is the moving animation and our holding animation. As you can see here, I'm just passing in these variables of left, right, down, and up between these. So now I don't have to copy and paste it into my, um, my animation uh, node anymore because it's being passed through. So now I'm gonna go through each and every single one of these little lines of code. That way you can can try this at home, kids. All right. So in the check direction, um, it's gonna find out. It's gonna say if we're not moving and is holding not in seven, um, or if we're not in the usage state, um, it's just gonna find out um, what our current direction is and then it's going to play one of those um, idle animations that we have here uh, I also removed the happy state and put it in here um, that way we can still have access to the celebration so that's all this is doing um, it's just checking to see uh, which direction we're facing when we're not moving and we're not holding any items at all um, I think this is pretty self-explanatory um, just going to go through it a couple of times that way you can copy and pause the video and copy it um, the next thing here is to check our holding direction so this one is pretty much the same as this one but this time um, it's just going to check if we're not moving but we're holding something so all I did was I just added a bunch of little animations as you can see down here and then I have them play depending on which direction she's currently facing. So, um, like I said, that's pretty much the same as up here. There's no difference between them really, except that one little tiny caveat. All right, next one up is going to um, it's going to see uh, our movement. So if we're moving, it's going to find out which one of these is true. And then depending on um, depending on which direction we're moving, it's going to change our direction. So here it says if we're holding nothing, so this we're not in the we're not in the usage state. Um, 
find out which one of these buttons was last pressed or which one of these directions was last pressed and then it's going to do the exact same thing it's going to give us um, it's going to change the direction to whatever direction it is and then it's going to change our strike box position and then it's going to play one of these animations um, again this you should already have this code but if not just feel free to pause the video and copy it okay and then finally we have the uh, holding and again it does the exact same thing but this time it's checking if we're in the holding position or the usage state and then which one of these buttons is pressed and will change our direction and it's going to change our strike box position and then it's going to play um, one of these animations and again this is to check if we are in fact moving All right, that should be good. All right, I think that's everything. We are at 48 minutes.